Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be decluttering my nail polishes. I don't have a lot of nail polish and you look at that and you think you don't have a lot. I have quite a few bottles, but I don't actually have a lot that are my favorites, I guess I should say. So I don't have a lot that I actually wear, you know, consistently and wear often. We're going to declutter a lot of these. So yeah, I can see that I have a lot more like pinks and reds, like all different, you know, shades of pinks and, and reds. Apparently that's my favorite and then some of these my husband bought for me some are colors I bought and I'm thinking why the hell did I buy this color? But this is where we are. So Let's go through the colors that we have the least of I think That's where we're going to start Okay, our blues I'm actually going to throw them in my little box down here as we go through Okay so as far as blues, I have just a few blues. I do a lot of nail art with my blues. I don't actually wear just a solid blue. So let's start with, okay, this is the first one that I have and it is the Broadway. This one is called Mr. Right Now. This is actually, the formula is a little thin for me. It does take two to three coats to make it opaque. I don't wear it on its own just as a blue nail polish. It's nothing like Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue. Um, this is the swatch right here. But I can actually do an ombre like, you know, green, blue, white or something like that. And that works out really well. So I will be keeping this one just for this summer. I'm a gal that likes to have blue toes. Okay? I know. And then this is the Blue Visionary Wet and Wild. All the, the Wet and Wild formula is the Mega Last. I find that each bottle is kind of on their own. I mean, it's not a very consistent line. Sometimes it's two coats make it opaque, you know, it doesn't chip. And then sometimes four coats make it opaque and it chips the next day. I'm not going to keep this one just because I can't use it for nail art. And I don't like it just for, you know, like a solid all the way look across. It does, you know, take two to three coats to make it opaque, but it just doesn't last for me. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. If I can't do nail art, I'm probably not going to keep a lot of these. So just putting that out there. And then this is the Salon Perfect. This is Starlight, Star Bright. It's a nice blue glitter polish. I will be keeping this one as well. I like to use this on my toenails during the summer. Yeah, I just think nothing's cuter than like blue or orange toenails in the summer with a nice tan. So I will be keeping this one. The next one is the, this is the LA Colors Color Last says it lasts up to 10 days. I did not find this true. I actually bought a couple of these and I found that they did chip, you know, the next day, two days after. So it doesn't last two days, but I can use this with some nail art. It, the formula is not, you know, super thin and watery. It's not as dark on your nails as it comes off in this bottle. It is a more mid blue than like a dark. It doesn't come off like a nice midnight blue, like I was hoping for like a dark, dark blue. It's a little too bright for that, so I'm going to keep it just to do, because so, I like to do the blue and white nail art with this one. It's got a pretty color for that, but as far as just every nail, no, it's just for nail art only. And it doesn't last 10 days, I don't care what they say. Oh wait, here's a lone blue. This is Skipping Stones, the Mega Outlast. I'm going to be tossing this one. I don't like the formula. It's a little watery. Um, it's not ideal for me. It's out. Okay, so that's all the blues I have. I know. And then let's do the greens, okay? Okay, this is the Sinful Colors in Meant to be Cool mint and then a two be cool i really like this color it does take two um, coats to make it opaque it does bubble a little bit i don't know if that's just like part of this you know specific colors formula it does bubble a little bit so you got to be really careful about that but this is the color it's really pretty for nail art or just to paint your whole entire nail with so i will be keeping that one as well 
This is the Made in Jade Sally Hansen. I like this formula. I like this color. It's really quite pretty. Um, I'm a green gal. I don't like the way it looks all over, but I like to stamp with this. I find that all the Sally Hansen Hardest Nails are really easy for me to stamp with. The formula is just, you know, the right, even like the red, um, the pink, a lot of them are really easy. So I'm going to use this one just to stamp. So keeping that one. This is the Home Run Pure Ice. I'm going to be getting rid of this one. I like the color, but it just doesn't come off that, you know, pretty. Um, it comes off a little bit paler, and it just doesn't look, it's not a very attractive color for me, so I will be getting rid of this one just because I'm not going to use it, and I'm really trying to clean up, for spring cleaning, I'm trying to clean up my area, you guys. So that's what we're doing. And then this is... Pure Ice Free Spirit. I thought this was going to be a really pretty grass green. I have yet to find a really nice grass green. This is not it. I'm going to be getting rid of this one. It looks just like baby um, pee puke on your fingernails. So, not a fan. Getting rid of it. I can't even use it for art. And then this is the Pure Ice as well. This one lost its color, but it's like a hunter like an emerald green. I'm going to be getting rid of this one as well. It takes like three coats to make it really like super opaque. Getting rid of that. This is the, so this is the China Glaze. I swore I, I didn't do it. I actually do like this one. It's two coats to make it opaque. It's a really pretty color. The worst thing about this was removing it and I actually found a little thing that I did myself. So yeah, I'm keeping that one. I like it. And then this is the Hard as Nails Extreme Heart Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This one is in Jazzy Jade. I like this color. I like the formula, but this one is just like super old. Um, so I'm going to be getting rid of this one. I can't even use it for nail art. It's just too old. I'm really trying to figure out how all of these people that have like 700, you know, bottles of nail polish, how they don't go old and ruin before they use them. Some of these I've only had for one year and they're already like, you know, old or, you know, kind of gummied up. And I did get the, I did get this nail polish thinner to use for the ones you know, but it really, you have to do it every single time. It doesn't thin them out, you know, like for the long haul. But yeah, I don't know how some people have nail polishes that are three and four years old and they're just not, you know, hard or gumpy or, you know, anything like that. So I'm getting rid of that one. It's old. So I did my greens and blues. I guess we'll do like the purples and mauves. Oh, wait, let's do this orange and yellow because I only have one. Okay. These are the two Wet and Wild Mega Last nail colors, orange and yellow. The orange is really pretty. It comes off kind of like sherbet. It's really pretty for nail art. And the yellow as well. The yellow is really light compared to how bright it is. It's called My Butter Half. And the orange one is You're a Cutie. I can do like orange, white, and then yellow and to make a really pretty kind of like sunset ombre. So I'm going to keep these just for nail art, but they're not something that I would wear, you know, just on all of my nails because they don't last. I mean, I know it says up to 10 days on one of them or something, but they don't last 10 days for me, but I'm keeping those. Okay, now let's do the purples and the mauves. This is the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength No Chip Nail Color. This one is in Royal Romance. I'm not a fan of this line. Um, like, look how like dark that looks. Yeah, it's just not one that I'm a fan of. It takes like three coats to get like that even amount of color for it to go on even. And then it's still so light you can still see your nail through the polish. So, I'm not a fan of, this is, I've tried several of these. The bottle's cute, diamond strength, maybe, but the color just isn't there for me. There's not enough pigmentation. This is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Pep Plum. Um, this one is, the formula, I don't like it. It's very, kind of patchy. I mean, it looks like full color like here and then it gets kind of streaky and runny. Not a fan. I can't even use it for nail art or stamping. The formula is just too uneven. I mean, you know what I mean? Like it takes like three or four coats and then you still have light and dark spots. So not a fan. Getting rid of it. Okay. 
right and then this is the dust in the wind mega last it looks really pretty and it is basically see-through as well I'm not a fan of this um, you can still see your nail underneath it I'm not keeping it can't use it for nail art and I wouldn't paint my nails with it so it's out this is the Salon Complete, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. This one is in Plums, the word. I like this one. I like the color a lot. The, the formula is great, but it does chip for it to be a complete manicure. It chips in like three days. So, yeah, this is great for nail art, though, and I do like this color a lot. Okay, and then the other um, Sally Hansen Complete Manicure. This one is Commander in Chic. I like this color. The formula is great. I mean, as far as like the color, it goes on even. Two coats make it opaque. It's a really nice formula. I'm keeping it because I like to use it for my nail art and I like to just like base coat and then put something on top. This is the Wet and Wild Wild Shine. This one is Wild Card Invitation and it is... It is this color right here. You can see the formula is... It's not as dark on the nail as it comes off in the bottle, and it is pretty light still. So I'm not going to be keeping this one. This one was only a dollar. It's really pretty for, like, your toenails or something. But for what my hand's washing them and stuff, it's just not a formula that I can wear for a long time. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. Okay, and this is the Pure Ice in Sheen Queen. Um, it's like a mauve gray berry gray or something. I like this color a lot. Two coats make it opaque. I am wearing it today. It's the bottom of my nail art and the formula is not bad at all. It will last two to three days. I mean, I guess if you don't have to like wash your hands a lot, wash dishes or anything, maybe a little bit longer and stuff, but I'm going to be keeping that one. It's one of my favorites. This is the Salon Perfect, um, a royal affair. This is the neon um, matte. It looks like this right here. I'm not a fan of this one. It's very uneven when it goes on. On the swatch, it looks really nice, but it is very uneven. It's patchy. You can see through it in, in places, and I don't use it for nail art because of that. So, tossing that one. This is Lincoln Park After Dark by OPI, one of my favorite colors of all times. I wear it all the time. This bottle is just super old, so I do need a new one. I am going to be getting rid of this. Love the formula. Love the color. Two coats make it opaque. It's gorgeous, but this one is just super old. Like, I know. This is OPI Nail Lacquer in Espresso Your Style. Again, it's a really pretty kind of like coffee brown. I really like the formula. I really like the color. It's just super old and it needs to go. I'm not a fan of keeping things that, you know, have expired or whatever. So, like it, but yeah. This is the Butter London Nail Lacquer in Ruby Moray. I don't know why these are so expensive. These things are like eight and eleven dollars or something this color is a really pretty dark kind of dark burgundy red but um, the formula I wasn't impressed with two coats make it opaque it was very streaky kind of a very watery formula um, I got this in my boxy charm box and I wouldn't pay full price for this because the formula is just not there I mean for it to be a nail lacquer it's lacking for me so I'm tossing that one I'm getting, I'm doing some spring cleaning. We're getting rid of all the crap, you guys. All the crap is out. This is my Essie Wicked. It's one of my favorite Essie. The formula is beautiful. I'm wearing it as my top nail art. Love this. I have repurchased that one several times. This is Essie in Chinchilli. It's one of my favorite colors as well. The formula is really nice. And I bought this um, ice one in... Sheen Queen because it looked very similar. It's just a little bit darker the Sheen Queen, but yeah, I will keep this one and I will repurchase that one. This is Essie for the Twill of It. This is a really pretty color, you guys. It's like this one right here, and when you move, you know, it kind of changes its color. Like really, really pretty. I like it a lot. I will keep it. I just bought this like the last few months, so. But in the bottle, you can just see all the little colors. It's really pretty. Let's do this little guy so we can put him back over there where he goes. This is like a little stand that I got with a little Christmas um, tub at for Christmas, a wet and wild tub, and it has like the little fingernail file and stuff in it. And I just keep the little display here because I just think it looks neater. 
and I keep it over there. So this is Wet n Wild Mega Last in through the grapevine. It's kind of like a nice bright purple pink. I'm going to keep this one. It's really pretty for some nice pink nail art. So I'll be keeping that one. This is the red. I get, I read a good book. Um, again, the formula is not ideal for me. Let's see if I can show you one. It's a nice bright red. It's a nice pretty red, but it just isn't ideal for me. I'm keeping it for nail art only because I don't like the formula to wear all over my nails. It makes me look scary. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right word. Okay, this is the undercover. I'm going to be keeping this one. It's just a nice pretty pink mauve looking color, like a dusty mauve. Really pretty. The formula is not bad. Um, two coats do make it opaque, but it's just not long lasting. This is one of my favorite kind of nude pinks. It's called Sugar Coat. It's got a nice formula. Two coats make it opaque. It's just a, opaque. It's just a super pale pink. Really like it a lot. This is Private Viewing. It's more of a nat buff nude, maybe. Um, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, so it just looks like it almost has like a peachy orange undertone to it, but it's a nice formula. I really like it. This is Wet Cement. It's a nice dark gray. Of course, I love the color. The formula is not bad either. Two coats do make this opaque, and it does last longer than all of the other ones here, so I'm kind of a fan. And then um, I'm going to put this Clear Wet and Wild on in the middle just because I'm keeping this one just because it's a clear coat. It doesn't beat my Sally hands and dries instantly, but when I have nothing else, this one works. So I can put this little guy back. I wish I had a little um, OPI stand like that <laughs> or a little Essie.